क्लास फोर्थ डी बी के बिरला पब्लिक स्कूल कल्याण आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू ऑल टू द क्वारंटीन साइंस एक्टिविटी साइंस इज अ वर्ल्ड ऑफ मैजिक इफ यू डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड इट वी बिलीव इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड डीमिस्टिफाइंग द वर्ल्ड ऑफ साइंस एंड हाउ थ्रू सिंपल एक्सपेरिमेंट्स from objects at home students from class 3 to 12 took up this challenge for of doing the science activities from daily use objects to explain scientific concepts the response has been great so here is presenting some of the videos quarantine time can also be fun from standard 4th class c today i will explain you the topic of clothes our protectors we should wash the woolen clothes with a special detergent used for the woolen clothes This is the 
expensive woolen cloth. We should wrap it in the cotton cloth with some naphthalene balls and dry green leaves. But see this cloth. I have not wrapped it in the cotton cloth with some naphthalene balls and dry green leaves. So the silver fish has done some small small holes in this cloth. We should keep our expensive woolen cloth and silk cloth in the cotton cloth to keep and keep some naphthalene balls and dry neem leaves to protect it from the insects like moth and silverfish. We should give our expensive woolen and silk cloth for dry clean. We should wash and dry and iron the clothes with the special detergent. Thank you. Hello my dear friends. I am Avika Jaju from class 4th D. VK Birla Public School Kalyan. Today I will tell you some information about food and its preservation. Food. Food is a substance which provides nutritional support to some organisms which help them to grow and to sustain. Preservative. Preservative is some substance or chemical reaction which prevents decomposition of food. Here I have some food items. Mango pickle, chili pickle and on the other side I have some sweet mango which is also called murabba and some fruit jam. Since ancient times, salt and sugar are used as natural preservatives to preserve food. Microbial growth or any chemical reaction to happen in the food, it requires unbound amount of water which is called water activity. But salt and high concentration of sugar reduces the water activity thus resulting in the food preservation. Salt and high concentration of sugar dehydrates the microbes in the process called osmosis. Salt and high concentration of sugar halts the growth of microbes. Salt and sugar also combats yeast and molds. Thank you. Hi friends, I am Sailaksha from 4th EBK Villa Public School. Today I am going to show an experiment on to dig it. Let us begin now. Things you will need. 3 jars, 3 eggs, vinegar, milk and cola. Step 1. Pour milk, vinegar and cola into 3 separate jars. Step 2. Gently lower the eggs into three separate jars. Step 3. Tighten the lids and close the jar lid. Let it sit for one week. I have already put the eggs for one week and see the result. Look, this eggshell is white in color because of the milk. Milk is good for health. This eggshell is yellow in color because of the vinegar. This eggshell is brown in color because of the cola. Eggshells represent the teeth since they have similar chemicals that form the tooth enamel. Decay is caused by acids that the bacteria create from sugar. Acids from vinegar and cola are concentrated enough to dissolve and partially exhale. So friends, do not eat more concentrated food and take care of your teeth. Thank you. Hello my friends and my teachers. I am Sarakshi Rambhar 
from fourth e blue house today i'm going to do an experiment my experiment is on which clock dries quicker so the materials are required two balls filled up water two balls empty and two clothes one should be synthetic and the another another one should be cotton now let's put them in the in the box and now let's wait now let's take out the clothes so this one has a little quantity and this one has a lot of quantity of water so the cloth which dried quicker is the synthetic one thank you friends bye hari om teacher good morning friends my name is yuk patel i am from 4c today i am going to show you how to make a homo polar motor i am going today these are the materials how to make a homo polar motor you need some magnets a battery and a copper wire now you have to make a spring out of copper wire then you have to attach the magnet of a magnet on the eight flat part of the battery now you have to put the magnet straight and add the copper wire like this it will automatically uh, spin let's do the similar experiment but be careful for this experiment you have to put the magnet in exact middle of the cell uh, because it could not fall then you have i have made a heart shape out of copper wire and attach it here it will automatically uh, spin the battery and electromagnetic field connecting together makes a electromagnetic field that push the copper wire in one direction do the second experiment the fan is a simple motor you need a you need some magnets a nail and pieces of paper a oh a battery and a some and a copper wire first you have to attach the nail with the battery on the flat side then you have to take the copper wire and attach it to the other end of the battery then